Hello, welcome to Loaves and Letters. This is the channel where I talk about knitting and I am starting a new series where we do a few knitting vlogs. I have a few weeks off from work and so I thought I would share with you the projects that I'm working on. I'm going to try to do one project a day, just introduce you to the things I've started and my whips. I have a few things on the go so it should last a few days at least. Um, and my idea is that I'm going to show you the project at the beginning of the day and then knit on it during the day and then show you my project progress at the end of the day. So I'm sure the amount of knitting I will do will fluctuate daily, but it sort of will give you an idea of how fast or slow the making process is. So let's jump right into it. Um, I just had this idea and I just had to, had to be made into a video series. Um, so this is a swatch that I made. I am making, it is called the Confetti Jumper from this book, Knit Me a Rainbow. I found it at Savers for $3. Can you believe? $3 for a whole book of really cute kids clothes. I started, wanted to start with a simple one, mainly because this is a vintage book. Um, and I mean by vintage it's probably like an older style so it's not really like top down an older style of pattern writing so not really as many top down ones um, more seamed projects which I really want to get into I'm um, just looking at it says 1990 Murdoch books so it looks like it's the revised edition too so it must be must have been a popular book back in the day um, I am using this yarn which is so pretty it is Bendigo Woolen Mills which is a mill that is kind of local to me a couple hours drive away from Melbourne and it is like a color changing color shifting yarn 100% wool this is the eight ply wool um, the knitting needles I'm using are these Knit Pro called Zings the interchangeable ones uh, yeah I'm coming down from a cold so might be a bit out of breath. I'm also about to go for a run. Um, we have a few things planned today. Anyway, getting sidetracked. I did do a swatch as I showed you, but this was on four millimeter, millimeter needles and it was a little bit too, my gauge was um, a little bit too big. So I went down a needle size um, and it's still like maybe one, cent, one stitch off or half a stitch off. It was something like 20, two stitches 22 and a half stitches and 30 rows so a little bit off i only did a five centimeter length so yeah so i went down to three and a half millimeter needles which is what i'm using now as i said it seemed which i mean it's not my favorite construction but i think it's something i need practice in and it also means i can practice my purling a lot more I am doing the front piece, so I've done about this much so far. We'll see how much I get done during the day. When I'm going over to my parents' house, so I can probably get some more done then. As you can see, the tension is not bad. Probably getting better. The reason why is because I have switched to a Norwegian style of purling. So maybe I can insert a clip later of how I used to purl and um, the new style of purling. I just watch the tutorial from Very Pink Knits here on YouTube and it just means that the new style of purling I rotate my left wrist a lot less which I feel like is less strain on my hands. I do rotate my right wrist more but it's less than my left wrist would do otherwise. But yeah, so I feel like I've talked enough for now. I'll show you a few clips of our day. I'll show you, um, yeah a little bit of day in the life and that is the project that Let's I'm working on. Let's go outside, snow is so falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir performing all the Christmas songs that we love. Get yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. 
And then why we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the Hello, I'm back with a little update so on my knitting to spend this day and a little update you. on my day. I've done about this much you a and made a little bit of progress. Sorry, my needles keep um, tinkling, tinking. Um, yes, I went for my run. I did a bit of cleaning. I have goals to do a little bit of a spring clean of the entire house while on holidays. And I forgot I had knitting group, so I had some time to knit and chat with some friends during knitting group. That was nice. We went to Coles, the supermarket here in Australia, um, to pick up some things for dessert for Christmas. I'm planning on making a white Christmas cake as well as a traditional trifle. I don't have a trifle bowl, I don't have space for it, so I'm just going to use like a glass mixing bowl that I have. Um, but yeah, you'll see, hopefully you'll see that in the next few days. I am... Just wanted to talk about, yeah, I guess I wanted to talk about like creativity and why I'm making this vlog. I feel like I've lost touch a little bit with video making. So trying to try to get back into it, trying to do things a little bit more regularly. I feel so relaxed now that we're on holidays and it's the end of the year. And I thought it'd be a nice way to sort of remember this Christmas. Um, I feel like I'm getting back to myself now after having two kids and um, having a bit more time to do more things that I love, like knitting and making videos. Yeah, I'm still coughing, still sick, which is a nice reminder to kind of slow down. It's always like this when you're excited to start a new series, excited to do something new, and you sort of can burn yourself out uh, easily. So yeah, that's where we're at. Um, I... I'm looking forward to sort of digging out my whips to show you and maybe work a few stitches on each of them and then see which ones I want to sort of continue and try to finish off um, because I feel like I've accumulated quite a few over this year. Um, it's because it's a nice sort of yearly roundup to see where we're at and what we've done. I've also started a list of um, the projects that I'm working on kind of with dates sometimes I forget to put the actual dates in but like approximate dates of when I start and when I finish them so that next year hopefully I'll have like a comprehensive list of all the projects that I've worked on which will be like a nice roundup. I'm also trying to take more pictures to post on Instagram. There's a lot I'm trying to do. I don't know if I'm going to be successful at all of them uh, but we're gonna we're gonna try our best and I just have so many ideas and like it's just like in my head and so it's nice to be able to get things out of my head and into a video, into real life, um, into my hands, across, off the needles, like all, all the things, right? The colours are working out really nicely. At first I actually like the darker colours, which I don't think we've reached the darkest um, shades of blue here, but now I'm really liking the light colours of this. Um, it is prism yarn in the colorway fairy tale. Um, so there's like purples and blues and um, I think even some like tealy greens almost. Um, it's quite nice. So yeah, looking forward to doing more knitting today and I will check in with you later on um, to show you the progress that I've made during the day and then tomorrow I'm gonna be showing you a new project or another project that I've started. Yeah, there are a lot. We'll see how many days. I reckon I could get through like a week of works in progress. There's like seven of them. Mm -hmm.